A proportion is an equation in the form of A over B equals C over D, where B and D are not equal to zero. There are two common ways to solve a proportion. We can solve a proportion just like we solve a rational equation by clearing the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides by the LCD. And we can also solve a proportion by cross multiplying. Let's take a look at both methods. Let's first solve this proportion like we would solve a rational equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. Because the least common multiple of six and 24 is 24, we can clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides by 24. This would give us 24 times two over six equals 24 times x over 24. If it's helpful, we can write 24 as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now let's simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators before multiplying. Notice 24 and six share a common factor of six. There's one six and six and four sixes and 24. We now just have four times two, which is equal to eight. On the right, we have a common factor of 24. There's one 24 and 24 here and here. We now just have one times x, which is equal to x. So we have eight equals x, which is equivalent to x equals eight, which is the solution to the proportion. Now let's solve the same proportion using cross multiplication. One property of proportions is that the cross products are always equal. For the proportion a over b equals c over d, the cross products are a times d and b times c. And for proportions, the cross products are always equal and therefore a times d will always equal b times c. For example, if we have one over two equals three over six or one half equals three six, notice that one times six is equal to two times three. Let's use this property and solve the proportion again. Again, the cross products are two times 24 and six times x, which means two times 24 or 48 must equal six times x, which is six x. And now to solve this equation, we divide both sides by six. 48 divided by six is eight. On the right, six divided by six simplifies to one. One times x is x, and we get eight equals x, which is equivalent to x equals eight. And of course we get the same solution. Before we look at a second example though, there are a couple other ways that we could have solved this proportion. Using what we know about equivalent fractions, notice how looking at the denominators, because six times four is equal to 24, we could have multiplied two by four. Notice two times four is eight, which would also give us x equals eight. We could have also noticed that since two times three is equal to six, we could have asked what number times three is equal to 24, which would have also given us eight. But these two methods are only convenient when we have nice numbers, which is not always the case. Let's look at a second example. Let's solve this proportion. Again, let's solve this proportion first as we solve rational equations, which means we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD to clear the fractions from the equation. Well, here we have a denominator of three and a denominator of x, and therefore the LCD is equal to three x. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by three x. And again, if it's helpful, we can write three x with the denominator of one. And now we simplify before multiplying. Here we have a common factor of three. Three divided by three simplifies the one, or there's one three and three here and here. We now just have x times eight, which is eight x equals on the right, we have a common factor of x, x divided by x simplifies to one, and we have three times 12, which is equal to 36. And that is all for x, we divide both sides by eight. Eight divided by eight simplifies to one, we have x equals 36 eighths, but this does simplify, 36 and eight share a common factor of four, to simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by four. 36 divided by four is equal to nine, eight divided by four is equal to two, which gives us x equals nine halves. And now let's solve it again using cross multiplication. 
the cross products are 8 times x and 3 times 12, which means 8 times x or 8x must equal 3 times 12, which is equal to 36. And just like over here, we now divide both sides by 8. Simplifying, we get x equals 36 eighths, which we know is equal to 9 halves, giving us the same solution of x equals 9 halves. Notice how for this proportion, it would not have been as easy to determine what times 8 is equal to 12 to determine what to multiply 3 by to determine x, and it also would not have been as easy to determine and it also would not have been as easy to determine what times 8 is equal to 3 to determine what times 12 is equal to x. I hope you found this helpful.